we present a new approach for the simulation of wood as an anisotropic material. The input to our method is a watertight mesh, as well as information describing the distribution and orientation of fibers within the wood. Fiber information can either be defined manually by a user or generated procedurally. Our approach is based on the position-based dynamics framework in which objects are represented by a set of particles with constraints that define the dynamics. We employ shape matching for simulating the isotropic wood components and a coserat-based rod simulation for the anisotropic part. In the pre-processing step, we procedurally generate rods within the mesh based on the fiber description as well as shape matching groups. The simulation loop consists of the application of shape matching and rod constraints. Moreover, we apply constraints for the coupling of rod and shape matching dynamics. Wood fracture is handled by evaluating an anisotropic fracture condition for each shape matching group. If the fracture condition is satisfied, we update the connectivity of shape matching groups and rods accordingly. This example shows the procedural generation of rods inside a tree mesh. The fiber direction of the tree is assumed to follow the center line of the branches. Initially, the volume of the mesh is randomly filled with particles. Then, rods are created by adding a new particle for each previously created particle, advancing it in fiber direction and creating an edge between them. If a newly added particle is colliding with an existing particle, the already existing particle is removed. This process is stopped when the whole volume is filled with particles. Shape matching groups are generated by creating one group for each particle that consists of the particle itself and its Voronoi neighbors. This example shows a user interacting with our system. The tree starts swaying as the user starts to pull on its branches. When the fracture condition is met, branches start to break and fall to the ground. Thank you for your interest in our work.